Etymology and Historical Origin of the Baby Name Conrad Conrad is the anglicized form of the German masculine name Conrad, from the grammatic elements Huan meaning bold and Rad meaning council, essentially meaning bold ruler. Conrad I was king of the Germans in the early 10th century and Conrad II was an early 11th century Holy Roman Emperor. There were several men of nobility, kings, dukes, counts, and such, named Conrad throughout medieval Germany, Bavaria, and Luxembourg. We're guessing they all demonstrated bold rule over their respective domains. There was also a notable bishop turned saint in 10th century Germany, Conrad of Constance, who may have had a hand in further inspiring the usage of his name. He is remembered for drinking his sacramental wine even after a spider, then believed to be poisonous, had dropped into his goblet, as a legendary demonstration of his faith. Because the name was so common and widespread throughout Europe in the Middle Ages, Conrad made his way over to England eventually where it was used from time to time. However, among English speakers, Conrad did not come into regular use until the 19th century. Today, Conrad is quite popular in Poland, but the English Conrad, with its C, has gone out of style. Personality of the boy named Conrad The number one personality is a leader, strong and competitive. They are willing to initiate action and take risks. One personalities work hard toward their endeavors and have the ability to apply their creative and innovative thinking skills with strong determination. They believe in their ability to succeed and are too stubborn to be hindered by obstacles. Once meet obstacles head on with such mental vigor and energy that you better step aside. They resent taking orders, so don't try telling them what to do either. This is an intensely active personality, but they are also known as starters rather than finishers. They have a propensity to become bored and will move quickly to the next project if not properly challenged. They are the ones to think up and put into action new and brilliant ideas, but they are not the ones to stick around and manage them. This personality has an enthusiastic and pioneering spirit. They are distinctly original. Popularity of the boy named Conrad Conrad has maintained a position on the U.S. Charts since the government first began tracking naming trends 1880, so we can safely guess the name existed even well before that in America. Conrad was most popular in the late 1800s and again in the 1930s. However, as you can see from the chart below, the name has since fallen from favor. His decline in usage has been consistently slow and steady. Today the name is hardly on anyone's radar anymore. Conrad has that strong, serious, no-nonsense Germanic quality, sort of like Karl slash Karl, but it also sounds dignified and erudite, and perhaps a little elitist. American hotelier Conrad Hilton may have added some airs of superiority to the name. We also think it's apropos that Conrad is a number one in numerology, the competitively strong-willed leaders, which goes perfectly with the name's etymology of bold rule. Con and Connie are common nicknames. Quick facts on Conrad. Gender, boy. Origin, English. Number of syllables, two. Ranking popularity, 691. Pronunciation, Conrad. Simple meaning, bold ruler. Characteristics of Conrad. Independent, successful, inventive, strong-willed, ambitious, individualistic. Cultural references to the baby name, Conrad. Literary characters of the baby name Conrad. Conrad is a minor character in William Shakespeare's comedy of 1598-99, Much Ado About Nothing, but his actions are pivotal to the thrust of the plot. Conrad is a gentlemanly fellow, a comrade of Barecchio, and one of Don John's followers. Don John, the illegitimate brother of Don Pedro, and malevolently jealous of his brother, is determined to thwart the chances for love of Claudio and Hero. Our Conrad is loyal and eager to serve his master's wishes, and abets Barecchio in his efforts to make Hero seem as if she is unfaithful to Claudio. Naturally, the plan works at first and poor Hero is castigated, but as we all know, Mr. S. likes to end many comedies with weddings. So, Hero is exonerated and she and Claudio marry. 
Conrad, along with Barecchio, is apprehended by the watchman, arrested and made to confess, while their mentor, Don John, is captured while fleeing. Such is the price of loyalty to the wrong side, alas, poor Conrad. Conrad Birdie is the main character of the 1960 Broadway musical, Bye Bye Birdie, as well as the 1963 movie of the same name. Inspired by the career of Elvis Presley being interrupted when he was drafted into the army in 1957, it seems an anomalous throwback to a sweeter and more innocent time. As the teen idol prepares to go off to the army, a contest is held to award Conrad's going away last kiss to a high school girl while on the Ed Sullivan show. The adult through the fact that kids dance and make noise, the high school boy is upset that his girlfriend who wins the contest is actually going to kiss Conrad, the overbearing mother doesn't want her 30-something son to marry, and when the girlfriend objects, the mama's boy sings, put on a happy face. All of that is innocent enough, for sure, but here are the parts of the movie that we really find hilarious, the 15-year-old high school girl is played by M. Margaret who was much closer to 25 at the time. Her boyfriend is played by Bobby Rydell, who got married for the first time at age 67. Her father is played by Paul Lind, who was quite explicit throughout his lifetime about which team he played on. Dick Van Dyke, playing a songwriter, was born in the same year as the actress, Maureen Stapleton, who plays his mother. Van Dyke's girlfriend, supposedly a Latina, is played by Janet Lee. Ed Sullivan plays himself, and he was exactly like that. Now all that is funny. Ah, well, we still like the name Conrad. Popular songs on Conrad. Conrad, a song by Widespread Panic. Famous people named Conrad. Conrad Hilton, American hotelier and businessman, 